picture going on a blind date and I was extremely humbled. Extremely humbled. As soon as I walk up, this man is drinking a glass of wine. I'm like, oh, hi. He's like, he follows me and I've met him one other time before. So it wasn't completely blind date, but we had never like, you know. When I sit down, he's pretty much, he's like, I'm sorry, this is awkward, but this isn't, this isn't it for me. And I'm like, no, it's not awkward. That's fine. Like, I get it. Sometimes you can feel right off the bat. I'm just curious. What is the reason? Like, what did I, what energy did I bring that made you so quickly be like, oh, no. But I'm like, I get it too. Sometimes I feel that energy and I, I respect you being like, this isn't it. He says, you don't look like the last time I saw you or your pictures on Instagram. Mm. I have the beauty filter on right now, but I do not face to my pictures when I, upload pictures on my stories I feel like the Paris filter on but like fucking sue me like sorry beauty filter off like no nah, dog no nah, dog and this is why I say that <laughs> AI beauty filters the filters has gotten so good now you can't hardly even tell the difference between when somebody is using a filter or when they not using a filter and so no that's no no if you're using a filter to make yourself better online and then when somebody see you and they say, nah, fam, this is not what I expected, that's fair. That's a fair move. And I think that people should have standards and preferences because men are not going to get any kind of... They're not. They're not going to get no play, no reprieve, no nothing. No nothing. They may get used for a meal. You know what I'm saying? But he decided that he wanted to opt out from even feeding you or even entertaining you because obviously it's different. Why do y'all use beauty filters? Y'all say that it makes you feel better, but it's not real. It's not real. It's not the real you. You know what I'm saying? So when you when you show up first, first, all right, before I get into it, I always like to give credit to the content creators. So the link back to the profile is going to be down in the description, regardless of whether or not I agree with it or not. Um, you'll see that. Secondly, make sure you tap into the Patreon. Link is in the description. It is a phenomenal place to be if you're looking to rock out with a group of people that's going in the direction that you want to go in. Third, Teach Henley. Thank you to Teach Henley. Continuing to sponsor this. 40% off your first order. 20% off for life. Thank you, Teach, for holding us down. And then last but not least, got to do a little bit of housekeeping before we get back to the video. Uh, let's rant about it. We're going to be doing a live show. Use my discount code Anton, A-N-T-O-N. Anton is my discount code. Link is in the description. We're going to be talking politics in person. We're going to be taking audience questions. We're going to be having conversations about relationships and we're going to be sharing our lives in real time. The link to the live show, first live show was going to be down in Atlanta, November, Detroit, December. And then we going out, we rocking out all next year, all right? So make sure y'all use the discount code Anton. Link is in the description as well as pinned to the top of the chat. But let me just say this. Let me let me just say this. I know that y'all think that some forms of technology actually makes your life easier or it makes it easier to meet people or it makes it easier for you to be able to navigate. But, and I tell this to my guys, but I'm gonna tell this to the women too. You gotta go outside. You gotta go. And I'm not saying go to the, local watering hole. I'm not telling you that you always got to go to brunch every day because it's just going to be a bunch of women there. I'm not telling you that you got to go to the club. The club is trash and it's played out. I don't care how old you are. I'm saying that you have to go outside. Stop just only working from home. Stop just going to work and then going home. Actually go out and interact with people, right? Some people want to want to work out at home only. No, you go out, you interact, you, you, you meet people, and then they get to see you. They get to feel your energy. They get to see the authentic you. And this is for guys, but I'm, I'm speaking to my ladies also. When you are out and about in the wild, you naturally make friends. You find your friend group based off of your interests. You got to try to do things that you wouldn't normally do, but then you have to be social when you're outside. It's not just a swipe left or a swipe right. I don't know how y'all don't realize that these dating apps are, are programmed for you to stay in the dating app because they don't make money and they don't get the visibility and keep your eyeballs on that application if you find love. So why would they create something that allows for you to be successful the first time? And I'm not saying that it's not a possibility. Some people meet on dating apps and they 
find a significant other, then they break up later or whatever. But what I am saying is that it is designed and it's programmed and it's developed to keep you swiping because that's how they generate revenue. It's always watch hours. It always comes back to watch hours. So you don't have to worry about showing up because you put too much effort into showing up after you've put a ton of effort into swiping and doing all of this other stuff and crafting your profile. I've seen women say, hey, I can craft your profile for you to get as many swipes and all of this, but then you got to show up. You got to show up. And when you show up, the person is going to be, or they may be like this, or they may not like you, and they may just endure through it, and then y'all wind up getting blocked later. But if you can develop an organic, organic chemistry, walking down the street, live, work, and playing in the same area, we are social creatures. And that's how we find our friend group. That's how we find our, our tribe. That's how we meet the people that we suppose to marry. That's how you wind up marrying your best friend because you get to know them and you get to know every aspect of their life naturally without having any kind of romantic interest in them, which means that you'll then be able to be equally yoked with them. So, of course, we don't want to see this beauty filter. Let's continue to hear what she got to say. I don't think I look that different. Like, no. Oh, my skin is not egg no nope 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 and it's not that anything is wrong with being naturally human is that he is getting a false advertisement of who you really are that the, whatever that first thing was that was that wasn't the real you this is the real you and guess what it's people that'll swipe anyway guys is is wild they date down anyway Guys is going to swipe right no matter what. You know what I'm saying? Some guys is going to have a greater preference, but they're going to swipe no matter what. But get outside and meet people and take off the filters, man. Perfect by any means, but enough to send someone away on the first five seconds of a fucking day. Which I'm not mad at this guy because... Humbled her. And it's not it, you know, that's not it, but... Fucking A, dating is hard. I'm in the trenches right now. And I really, do, I'm not trying to catfish anybody. Like, I'm just, ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> I turn the beauty filter back on because, yeah, it makes me prettier. Ad uh, addicted, 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 addicted. We are all normal people at the end of the day. We are normal people. The only thing that people are asking, because it's only... Listen, it's a segment of the population that's going to be the, the, the Holly Berries and them type of people. You know what I'm saying? For the rest of us, 99.9% .9 of us, we normal everyday people. And so it's better to meet people where you are so you can be celebrated instead of tolerated. Instead of always being caught up in this nonsense. You do and work on the things that you can work on. You fix the intangibles. You make sure you got a good attitude. You brush your teeth. You make sure that they're white. Straighten your teeth if you can, whatever, so on and so forth. Uh, the permanent things, you know what I'm saying? And and smell good. Iron your clothes. Put in effort to be as healthy as possible. All that other stuff, we all normal people. But everybody is going for the point zero 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 one percent knowing that you don't qualify. Fucking get over it. Get over it. I think I'm going to go to my best friend's house now and drink some wine with her because... <laughs> Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. Again, the tickets, I'm going to have that pinned down to the top of the chat. Uh, and then, of course, make sure y'all tap into the Patreon. Link is in the description. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Do you think that women are finding success with all of these stupid beauty filters? Or do you think that we need a reset and going back to just being organically as best as we possibly can? And then allowing people to meet us where we at. Let me know in the comments. I can't read, wait to read them. And I'm going to put a link to the profile in the description. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I'm going to holler at y'all later. Peace.